All right, so this is going to be kind of an interesting unboxing. So I um, picked up this motherboard. Uh, I was sometimes I search through AliExpress to find uh, cool technology, and one of the things that I found that I thought was so cool was this motherboard. Now I've looked at these kind of uh, Chinese recycled motherboards from AliExpress before, but this one was actually pretty unique in that first of all. It's a Ryzen motherboard, uh, which I have not seen before. Usually I've seen mostly uh, Intel motherboards from kind of older sockets like LGA1155 or LGA2011 um, uh, using the X79 or X99 kind of server high-end desktop CPUs. Um, but today we're actually looking at a ITX Ryzen board that is... It's it's interesting because like it's surprisingly sophisticated for what it is, and um, it's it's got a lot of cool features that uh, you you know wouldn't normally see on a on a product from AliExpress. You'd think they would be a little bit more um, a little bit more uh, how should I say homemade or a little bit more rough, but not this one. So let's uh, let's get to unboxing this. It just came in the mail. All right, so this is a B450i gaming motherboard. Now, I have never heard of I um, to describe a chipset. Um, I can only assume that means B450 ITX because this is an ITX form factor. That's what I can assume. Um, I'm, I'm not super familiar, but that's that's my best guess. But B450 I've, I've heard of. That's kind of the, the middleman of the um, of this generation of, of chipsets. Um, those are some um, little um, red kind of standoffs for our um, motherboard screwing into the motherboard, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with those later. So it comes in this box, pretty standard, you know, kind of motherboard box, small because it's ITX. Um, we can see it has HDMI support if you have, you know, a, a Ryzen CPU that supports that. Display port, that's good too. Wi-Fi 6 compatible, which is neat. Uh, and then it's the AM4 socket, of course. So pretty cool, supports uh, Got your your DDR4 RAM and your M.2 slots, so yeah, pretty cool. The um the name of this manufacturer because there's not a lot of branding on this. If you'll if you'll notice the sticker, it says J Jinwei Jinwei. I assume that's the that's the I guess the name of the company that makes this. But honestly, the way that these things are manufactured over in China, I I I can see why they didn't do a whole lot of branding on this box because it probably changed hands a lot of times. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Uh, all right, IO shield, that's good. Gonna want that. Um, I haven't seen a lot of these types of IO shields for uh, Ryzen platforms. Typically, you'll see the IO shield kind of built into the motherboard these days. You don't usually see these kinds of separate ones. Typically, they're a part of the motherboard, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, comes with a free SATA cable, that's nice. Um, and then we have, okay, what's this? Uh, uh, this might be, oh, here we go, it's a warranty card, so this does come with a warranty. Um, I can't, that's the only thing that's in English on here, I can't read anything else, so that's, there you go. Uh, a little cardboard insert, and then we have the unit itself. We have this thing. I know what this is, I'm very surprised to see it. We'll, we'll get back to this in a second. Alright, but let's look at the motherboard. All right, so it comes in an anti-static bag. Got your little, um, um, this is typical of motherboards that I've found on AliExpress before. This kind of uh, red foam on the bottom to prevent, you know, static and things getting snagged on it with the surface mount components. That's pretty typical. So I'm not really surprised there. And now we have the motherboard itself. So this is pretty cool. It's a pretty standard ITX form factor motherboard. And it's, it's surprising to me because like, it, it doesn't, you wouldn't, you know, upon looking at this initially, you wouldn't think that this was just like some kind of, you know, very likely recycled motherboard uh, from China. You could, this could pass for like, you know, an Asus, an ASRock, or Gigabyte motherboard. It looks like a proper product, so I guess their manufacturing capacity up there in uh, China is actually improving. If you turn onto the back here, check this out. This is so cool. We have an M.2 slot on the back for an SSD. How cool is that? 
So you actually can like fit two M.2 slots on this thing because you have another one in the front. That's that's awesome. That's the kind of like that that feature isn't even on a lot of like modern um, modern uh, motherboards. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I guess we'll just do like a quick little overview of the of the board. Now what you'll notice is that in the box I kind of I, I showed you everything that's in it. There's no instruction manual with this thing. Uh, some of the other recycled AliExpress motherboards I've bought they had instruction manuals. Uh, this one doesn't. So basically what I had to do, I pulled up the listing on AliExpress and this is what I have to go by. So I'm going to kind of use this as my little uh, cheat sheet as we go through and, and take a look at this motherboard. So um, initially they have installed here the um, uh, standoffs that you'll need for a typical AM4 Ryzen included cooler, which is nice. 8-pin power uh, for the CPU, 24-pin power for the motherboard, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. Again, this is not like a, this is not a cheaply made product, man. This is better than some of those other motherboards I've taken a look at. This connector on the front here, I did not know what that was uh, for when I unboxed that Corsair case a while back. This is for uh, front USB Type-C. So if your your case has a USB-C connector on the front, plug that in there. That's, that's again, it's, I know it's not much, but I'm just shocked that that kind of a modern, nice-to-have feature is making its way onto this product that is, from my understanding, a recycled product. I don't know if this is meant, like, this is a, um, I don't know if this is a recycled product or if this is, like, an actual proper Chinese brand that's, like, trying to it kind of is more popular in China because they don't have a lot of the North American brands like Gigabyte, Asus, ASRock, etc. I assume maybe this is just um, China's, like Jingwei or whatever, is China's version of Asus or something. I, I, I'm actually not sure. Um, but it's, it's, I'm just, as someone who's not really familiar with products outside of the normal motherboard products, this is just really surprising to me how kind of complete this thing seems. It's, it's really cool. So we have what looks like to be six phases. Is that six or eight phase power delivery? I'm not sure. One of those two. Um, two slots for your DDR4 RAM. Now, two slots on an ITX form factor is standard, so they're not trying to like jip you on that at all. Uh, four SATA connectors for your motherboard, so you can hook up a lot of drives here. One, check this out. Again, just the little things. This is a metal reinforced 16X PCI Express. Um, slot. That's that's great. That's awesome. Love to see it. Got your little um, your retention tab there. Uh, the CMOS battery, since there's so little room on the motherboard, you have to put the chipset right there, but the little CMOS battery just goes with wires on this little adapter that sticks to the side of the I.O. That's pretty pretty cool. Uh, pretty funny. Uh, another M.2 slot. Now, um, so let's see. Let me consult the manual here. Um, yes, that is six phase power according to the, the listing here. Um, so let's see here. Um, okay, so okay, so it looks like um, this M.2 slot and this M.2 slot on the back, both of them are for um, NVMe M.2. So I believe, let's see, I don't, th this does not say that they, they will work with SATA drives. So if you get this, I'm going to say don't count on SATA compatibility because that's not a guarantee. Um, so just FYI, just you'd be cognizant of that. Um, let's see, up here we have, looks like a bunch of just fan headers up here. None of these are labeled, um, but we have two three-pin fans and then two four-pin fans. So uh, I have a couple three-pin fans that I use for my case. Uh, you can put those there, but they're, they're, that's all the fan connectors right up there, so there, there you go. And then you have your, this is cute, your um, little, uh, your front, um, like your audio and your USB are all bunched together right here. Cable management with these kinds of uh, ITX builds would be kind of a, a nightmare, I, I imagine. Uh, let's look on the side here. So let's look at our, our I.O. So we have uh, two HDMI ports and a display port. So that's a lot of output. If you have a, a, an APU that can support um, displays out, that's, that's good. Uh, let me see if they give us anything about these USB ports here. Uh, USB interface. So we have four USB 3.0 ports. That's the blue. Um, and so USB 3.0, USB 2.0. And then the listing says for our uh, networking, 
we have... Okay, it was just kind of buried within the listing, um, but this is gigabit. So one gigabit port, that's about what I would expect for this kind of a motherboard, and then your uh, headphone microphone jacks as well. So that's pretty cool. The last thing that I think is really cool about this motherboard is that it supports Wi-Fi. So I'm going to show you how that works, right? All right, so look at this right here. You see that little slot right there? That's where you would put um, a Wi-Fi card, the same kind of Wi-Fi card that would go in like a laptop, for example. That's where you would slot that in. And then I kind of pulled this out earlier. This is the cover for that. And then that's this, the cover connects it to the antenna. So um, let me kind of show you how this works, right? So here you go. There's some screws in here. Let me put the screws back in the back. Okay, so um, how this works is you can see here in the bottom, right? You have these little wires in the bottom. You can kind of see them. Those wires will connect to the, um, the Wi-Fi card. I don't have a Wi-Fi card on me right now, but the, these wires will connect to that Wi-Fi card then the Wi-Fi card will plug into that slot on the motherboard right there. And then you're going to have to put uh, antennas on these little copper ports right here so that you can actually send out, get a, receive a signal. And then you just kind of, essentially, just kind of screw it on a little something like that. And then there you go. Then you have your Wi-Fi like on a conventional motherboard. That's really cool. I guess they didn't include a Wi-Fi card for cost-saving measures. I, I presume that's really what I can think of. Oh, this came loose. I can fix that. I guess it was for, like, cost-cutting measures or something, but they didn't include a Wi-Fi card. But I've, I've never seen this before where this was separate and you had to screw it in yourself. That's, um, that's pretty interesting. So, and it's... It, even labeled Wi-Fi on there, you can see that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that's that's the motherboard, and that's it's an ITX form factor. The reason why I got this is that I actually want to do a uh, ITX build in the future, and I figured, you know what? Why not AMD? Uh, why not why not Ryzen? Because uh, you can get some pretty nice value Ryzen chips. Oh, and the price point of this, I forgot to mention the price point. Uh, the price point of this was actually really um, attractive for me. It cost, I believe, my final total that I paid uh, shipped was $86, I believe. Um, that sounds, sounds about right. So that's about what it costs. And, you know, for an ITX motherboard, they're usually charging you kind of a premium because when it's something this small and with all these features on there, the design complexities are a little... Um, uh, they make And, and this, since they make fewer of them... So they have a smaller manufacturing capacity with a greater design complexity. They usually jack the price up and charge a bit of a premium for these things. Um, but uh, so to, see, to see something like this under 100 bucks uh, was, was pretty nice, in, in my opinion. So yeah, I think this is pretty cool. But I, honestly, what I'm so impressed by is the, the quality that came out of you know, a product like this. And I'm not going to tell you this is the best mother, the highest quality motherboard in the world. It's not that at all. But, you know, for what you're getting, for how much you're paying, that's really compelling. Um, now, I guess, obviously, you got to point out parts that are a little sketchy. you got to bring your own Wi-Fi card. So that's, you know, that's something. Um, but, you know, you can put up to whatever kinds of speeds that you want in it. It supports, uh, let's see, actually, does the listing say what Wi-Fi it supports? Um... It just says uh, Wi-Fi interface PCIe protocol. That's really all it says. So, yeah, I, I guess, I don't know. I don't know how fast that Wi-Fi can get, but um, I mean, I guess you could try a one gigabit or 2.5 gigabit uh, wireless card in there and, and see how that works. But yeah, I just, I'm really impressed at the kinds of features that you're getting out of this motherboard for it being, you know, a sub $100 AliExpress motherboard. I just think that that's really cool to, to see that. So, um, yeah. Um, but that's going to be my unboxing for the Jingwei um, Ryzen B450i gaming ITX motherboard. Uh, I just think it's so cool, and it's it's a surprisingly complete package. So if you want a, you know, a, a, if you're willing to tinker a little bit and you, you know, don't need the $200 you know, Asus ROG ITX motherboards for a small form vector build, maybe consider this. It's pretty cool. It's pretty legit. Uh, I will be doing a build with this in the future. I don't know when it's going to be. 
I don't have an ITX case. I don't have a Ryzen CPU for this yet. I got the I got the RAM, so the RAM is, I have, uh, but I need a CPU and I need a an ITX case that can take a ATX power supply because I'm not going to use an SFX power supply for this. So I do want a um, I do want a, an ITX case that does take an ATX power supply. Um, so I do need that. Um, but I'll get one uh, somewhere in the future, and then I will do a build for it for you guys. So yeah, uh, but let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. Um, uh, I guess that's their website. Um, I, um, yeah, so uh, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, leave a like on the video. Oh, I made a Discord server. Um, I'm going to have that in the description. Please join my Discord. Uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be about it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.